Hello, in this video, I will show the enhanced logging features available in TIPCO ActiveMatrix BusinessWorks 6.x. First, let us take a look at the logging options that exist in BusinessWorks 5 world and then the new logging configuration in BusinessWorks 6.x. In BusinessWorks 5, you could set the TIPCO designer in debug mode to see detailed information or error messages on the console. Or you could also set custom properties for the process engine that TIPCO designer runs by creating a properties file and specifying its location in the user arguments field as shown in the snapshot here. Now let us see how the logging mechanism is modified in Business Work 6. The Business Work 6.x is using org.slf4j API based upon Logback Framework. Logback Framework is successor to the popular Log4j logging APIs. Logging is configured individually per BW6 server configuration. Unlike in BW5, BW6 has multiple log files on the admin side. Separate log files exist for app node bw admin and bw agent let us understand the logging configuration while using business work studio first to change the logging level at design time open the advanced tab after selecting debug run configurations to see the logging options a default logback.xml is provided it can be modified to change the log levels as per the logback standards when you open this file you will see the default root logger is set to the error level. There also exists another file logback underscore level debug.xml in the same folder. To set root logger to the debug level, simply select this file. Let us understand the logging configuration at runtime now. When the app node is created, the log file from location bw home config servers default logback is copied to the newly created app node folder. For the subsequent application deployments within the same app node, the log file remains unchanged. Thus, if you want to change the log level at runtime, you need to modify the log file for the respective app node. The default logback.xml also lists loggers readily available to be configured like framework logger, engine logger, palette, and activity logger, and so on. You can also create your own logger for the custom package and specify its log level. Multiple log levels are supported such as error, warn, info, debug, and trace. Now let's see the logging configuration on the T, that is TIPCO Enterprise Administrator side. Here, the log files created by BW Admin and BW Agent are written to the BW home slash logs folder. If you contact TIPCO support, your support representative will most likely ask you to send the appropriate log file. BW admin creates a log file called BW admin dot log that is written to the BW home slash logs folder. The BW admin log file is created on installation with default logger as daily roller appender and log level as info. The logback configuration file is BW home slash bin slash bwadmin hyphen logback.xml. The BW agent when started creates a log file called bwagent.log that is saved in the bw home slash logs folder. The default logger is daily roller appender and log file is automatically compressed as a zip file. The default logging level is info. The logback configuration file is bw home slash bin slash bw agent hyphen logback.xml. App node log file bw app node dot log is created when the app node is started. It is written to the log subfolder under respective app node folder. By default, app node logs are written to a file appender only and default logging level is error. The logback configuration file is present in the app node folder as explained earlier. Log files can be retrieved by bw admin and displayed in the console or using admin UI as shown here. Thus, TIPCO ActiveMatrix Business Work 6.x makes logging easier and powerful with inbuilt support of logback standard. For more such how do I videos, please refer to the TIPCO community site. Thank you.